By the end of this video, you're going to have a 10 step checklist that you can go through to make sure that you're going to give your kitten the best setup possible. If not, it's possible you could be feeding them the wrong way, caring for them the wrong way, or potentially teaching them bad habits that you'll regret later on. There are 10 items total, and you'll want to stick around till the end because the last two are the most important. This guide will help you set up everything your kitten needs for a smooth transition into their new home. Let's get started with these must-have items for your new kitten. Number one, kitten food. Wet and dry feeding. First up, let's talk about food. Your kitten needs a balanced diet of both wet and dry food. It's a good idea to leave dry kitten food out all the time so your little one can nibble throughout the day. Kittens grow quickly and need plenty of energy, so having food available supports their rapid growth and high energy levels. In addition to dry food, wet food is essential for hydration and is usually more appealing to kittens. Offer uh, wet food several times a day, ideally three or four times during their first six months. Make sure you choose foods especially formulated for kittens, as these have the right balance of nutrients they need. And if you ever need to switch their food, do it gradually to avoid upsetting their tummies. Non-plastic bowls. Always try to use ceramic, stainless steel, or glass bowls for feeding to avoid health issues associated with plastic. Plastic bowl bowls can harbor bacteria and may cause allergic reactions or skin irritations to the mouth and the chin, known as feline acne. In addition to dry food, wet food is essential for hydration and is usually more appealing to kittens. Offer wet food several times a day, ideally three to four times during their first six months. Make sure you choose foods as specially formulated for kittens, as these have the right balance of nutrients they need. Nutritional needs. Kittens require a diet that's high in protein and fat to support their development. Look for foods that are especially formulated for kittens, as these will have the correct balance of nutrients necessary for growth including vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. Avoid adult cat food, which won't meet the higher energy and nutritional needs of growing kittens. Transitioning foods. If you need to switch their food, perhaps due to dietary needs or preference, do it gradually. Mix the new food with the old in increasing amounts over a week to help prevent digestive upset and help the kitten adjust to the new taste and texture. Monitoring. Keep an eye on your kitten's eating habits and body condition. If you notice they're not eating well or if their weight changes suddenly, consult your vet. Regular check-ins will ensure they are growing healthily and receiving the nutrition they need. But that's not the only thing you need. Here's another essential for your new kitten. Number two, fresh water access. Your kitten needs constant water access to fresh water to stay hydrated, which is vital for their overall health and well-being. Unlike food, where the type and frequency can vary, water must always be available. Suitable bowls. Use a shallow bowl to make it easier 
for small kittens to drink without straining. Since kittens are playful and might accidentally tip over a tr traditional bowl, consider using a heavier or non-tip bowl designed to stay stable. Alternative options. For kittens that enjoy a little extra enticement to drink, or for those who frequently tip over their water bowls, consider a kitten-friendly fountain or gravity water bowl. These options not only prevent spills, but also keep the water fresh and appealing, encouraging hydration. Non-plastic bowls. Ensure water bowls are made of ceramic, stainless steel, or glass to avoid potential health risks associated with plastic. Like with food, non-plastic bowls are best for water to avoid any potential health risks. This ensures that your kittens are always hydrated, comfortable, and happy, making it a fundamental part of their daily care routine. The one thing I do want to add is that I use a plastic gravity bowl. Now, let's move on to another important aspect of kitten care. Number three, grooming essentials. Starting a grooming routine early on is key. Use a soft bristle brush or comb suitable for your kittens, delicate coat, and bathe them occasionally with a gentle kitten safe shampoo. Regular grooming not only keeps their fur clean, but also helps you bond with your kitten. Nail care. Keeping your kitten's nails trimmed is another essential aspect of grooming. This not only protects you and your furniture, but also helps prevent your kitten from developing any nail-related issues. Use a pair of small, sharp nail clippers designed for cats and kittens, and introduce this practice early on to get your kitten used to the routine. A toothbrush kit. Start brushing your kitten's teeth as early as possible to get them custom to the process. Use a toothbrush and toothpaste specifically designed for cats. Regular brushing helps prevent dental issues and promotes overall health. The kit components. Use a toothbrush and toothpaste specifically designed for cats. Human toothpaste can be harmful for kittens. The brushing technique. Gently lift your kitten's lip and brush in small circular motions, focusing on the gum line. Start with short sessions and gradually increase the time as your kitten becomes more comfortable. Frequency. Aim to brush your kitten's teeth several times a week to maintain good oral hygiene. Regular schedule. Establishing a regular grooming schedule helps maintain your kitten's coat, nails, and teeth, and is a wonderful way to bond with your new pet. Regular grooming sessions also allow you to check for any unusual signs or changes in their skin, fur, and mouth, ensuring any issues are addressed promptly. This comprehensive approach to grooming ensures your kittens remain well-groomed, comfortable, and healthy as they grow. All right, grooming is covered. Now, let's talk about where your kitten will there do their business. Number four, litter box and litter. When it comes to setting up a litter box for your new kitten, Choose one with low sides to make it easy for them to enter and exit. Just like toddlers, kittens are extremely curious and may try to taste everything around them, including their litter. Try to keep their exploration safe and health 
Prepare the litter box with a natural non-clumping litter. Some of the types of litter to use is paper litter, which is soft on kitten paws and made from recycled paper. This litter type is highly absorbent and non-clumpy, reducing risks if ingested, which is crucial as kittens explore their environment much like young children do. Wood litter, made from recycled wood or sawdust. Wood pellets are safe for kittens who might taste their litter. They are natural, biodegradable, and break down when wet, preventing the formation of harmful clumps. Corn litter. This litter is made from ground corn, offering a natural and lightweight option that's absorbent and biodegradable. It's generally dust-free, making it safer for little explorers. Wheat litter. Crushed wheat makes this litter soft and safe for ingestion in small quantities. It clumps softly, is natural, and provides an easy cleanup since it's flushable. Litter is sorted. Let's make sure your kitten can always find their way back to you. With number five, a collar and a lightweight breakaway collar that includes an ID tag is crucial for their safety. Breakaway collars are specifically designed to open under pressure, which is ideal for active kittens who love to explore tight and potentially risky spaces. This feature ensures that the, if the collar gets caught on something, it will release preventing any harm to your kittens. While the kittens are little, avoid collars with bells or small attachments. They might seem cute, but these small plastic parts can be a choking hazard if your kitten manages to chew them off. Instead, use a simple, safe collar that provides essential identification without risks. Make sure that the tag on the collar includes your current contact information, such as your phone number and address. This can be a lifesaver if your indoor kitten ever sneaks out or gets lost, ensuring they can be returned to you safely. As your kitten gets older, there are advanced ID tags available that have QR codes allowing you to update information online. For example, the Payway Silent Silicone Dog ID tag offers modifiable pet profiles and emergency contacts and can be scanned for instant location alerts. There's the GPS collar or an air tag. As your kitten grows and becomes more adventurous, consider upgrading to a cat GPS collar or attaching an air tag. This can provide peace of mind in case your kitten sneaks out, enabling you to track their location quickly and easily. Collars are important, but let's also talk about safely transporting your kitten. With number six, a carrier. When selecting a carrier for your kitten, I strongly recommend opting for a hard-sided model. These carriers offer enhanced durability and security compared to their soft-sided counterparts. Look for a carrier that features openings both on the top and the side. This dual access design not only makes it easier for you to place your kitten inside without stress, but allows for more flexibility in handling especially in situations where you might need to calm your kitten down without letting them out. A cautionary tale from my experience. My cat Raymond managed to escape from a soft-sided carrier on his way to get neutered. This incident highlights the importance of choosing a sturdy carrier that securely locks. Always double check that all doors and latches are properly secured before any trip. Additionally, 
A hard-sided carrier is preferable in case of emergencies, such as sudden evacuations, or when you need to stay in a hotel. Hard-sided carriers are more robust and provide better protection, ensuring that your kitten stays safe and contained in unfamiliar or chaotic environments. Now, getting your kitten to love their carrier can save you a lot of stress and hassle. My foster cat, Sylvie, once turned a simple vet trip into a 30-minute chase around my bedroom because she wasn't used to her carrier. To prevent this, gradually acclimate your kitten to the carrier by leaving it open in your home with a comfortable bed inside. Encourage them to explore and rest in it by placing treats and their favorite toys inside as well. This positive association makes the carrier a safe and familiar space, reducing anxiety anytime during travel. Now that we have transportation covered, let's keep your kitten entertained and active. With number seven, a scratching post and vertical space. Introducing a sturdy scratching post or pad is crucial for satisfying your kitten's natural scratching instincts and protecting your furniture. Additionally, providing vertical space is essential for your kitten's physical and mental development. Kittens love to climb and explore heights, which helps them feel secure and offers a great vantage point to their surroundings. Also, offer several types of scratching surfaces along with the vertical options. This might include cat towers that combine scratching posts such as various levels to climb or even simpler setups like wall-mounted shelves designed specifically for cats. These setups provide not only a place to scratch, but also crucial vertical space for climbing and resting. Having a variety of scratching posts and cat tower combos has been very beneficial. For instance, I have a dedicated cat room with a tall cat tower that includes multiple levels for climbing, a cozy nook for napping, and integrated scratching posts covered in sisal. However, even if you don't have space for a full cat room, incorporating smaller vertical elements like a single multifunctional cat tower or a few well-placed shelves can significantly enhance your kitten's environment. Remember, positioning these scratching posts and vertical spaces in various locations around your home can help keep your kittens engaged and active. Place them where your kitten sleeps or plays as they always, as they often like to stretch, scratch, and climb when they first wake up. In addition to getting a drink of water, eating, and pooping. Now, let's make sure your kitten has interactive toys. With number eight, interactive toys. Keeping your kitten entertained and active is essential for their development and well-being. Providing a variety of toys such as laser pointers, feather wands, and small balls which can stimulate their natural hunting instincts and keep them engaged. It's important to note that providing fun for your kitten doesn't have to be expensive. Many effective toys can be homemade or improvised. For instance, a simple, a simple DIY toy can be made from a crumpled piece of paper attached to a string or a cardboard box with holes cut out for exploration. These simple solutions are often as entertaining to kittens as store-bought options. However, when selecting or making toys, safety should always be a priority. Toy toys that have small parts 
which could come off and be swallowed by your kitty. This includes items like small balls, feathers, or beads. Regularly inspect the toys for signs of wear and tear and remove any damaged toys to prevent your kid from breaking them into smaller pieces that could be ingested. Rotate the toys periodically to keep your kitten's interest alive. This not only prevents boredom, but also mimics the variety that they would experience in a natural setting, helping to keep their minds and bodies healthy and active. Next, let's make sure you're prepared for any minor emergencies or routine care needs. With number nine, a health care kit. Every kitten owner should have a basic health care kit assembled to ensure you are prepared for routine care or minor emergencies. This kit should include a digital thermometer, a small flexible tip digital thermometer. Design for pets is essential. It allows you to check your kitten's temperature if they seem unwell. The normal body temperature for cats range from 100.5 to 100.2 degrees Fahrenheit. An eyedropper or syringe. Useful for administering medications or feeding if your kitten is too small or sick to eat on their own. Gauze, tape, and scissors. These are important for addressing any minor injuries. Gauze can be used to clean or cover a wound and tape will help secure the gauze in place. Tweezers, helpful for removing splinters or ticks. Air cleaning solution and cotton balls. Cleaning solution and cotton balls. For regular ear cleaning, especially important if your kitten is prone to ear mites or infections. I actually use cotton pads. Even if your kitten is indoor only, a flea comb can help you monitor for any signs of fleas and is useful for removing debris from the fur. Contact information. Your veterinarian. Always keep a list of contact numbers for your regular veterinarian, a two-hour emergency vet, and the nearest animal hospital. Additionally, include the number for the Animal Poison Control Center. This kit ensures you're ready for any minor emergencies and healthcare needs. I actually have all that info on my refrigerator door, so it's easily available. Now, for the most important item you need. Number 10, a base camp. Providing your new kitten with a cozy, warm bed in a secure and quiet area is essential for their comfort and safety as they adjust to their new environment. A simple yet effective option is a kitten playpen. These are great because they protect your kitten from the hustle and bustle of the household while still allowing them to be a part of the family environment. I use a small playpen for my foster kittens, which lets them spend quiet time with me and my family during the day. And it's also portable, making it easy to move around the house as needed. Like I move it into my bedroom when I go to sleep at night. For those with a bit more space, consider setting up a designated spare bedroom or bathroom. These areas can serve as a perfect retreat for your kitten, providing them with a quiet space away from active household areas. Make sure that the room is kitten-proof and contains all their essentials, such as their bed, their litter box, and some toys. And if you frequently have visitors and are concerned, about your kitten escaping or being overwhelmed, maybe you could consider an indoor multi-story kennel, which I currently have. These kennels can be an excellent investment and they provide ample space 
for play, sleep, and a litter box placement while keeping your kitten secure. Such a setup is especially useful during gatherings or when doors to the outside might be frequently open. Creating a designated safe space with a comfortable bed is not just about providing comfort. It's also about ensuring your kitten's safety and helping them gradually adapt to their new home and family life. Another thing that you may want to add to their safe space is a pheromone diffuser. A pheromone diffuser helps in creating a calming environment for your new kitten. It emits synthetic pheromones that mimic those produced by the mother cats, which can be significant, which can, can significantly reduce stress and anxiety. Place a diffuser in the room where your kitten spends most of their time. This will help them feel safe and secure in their new surroundings. Pheromone diffusers are especially useful during the initial weeks of adjustment can, and can also help in multi-pet households to reduce tension between animals and promote a more harmonious environment. I hope that this list helps you feel ready to welcome your new kitten home. With these essentials, you'll ensure your kitten has everything they need to thrive in their new environment. If you like this video and want to see more cat videos, please smash that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.